Hey there, Segudo Golfers. Tom Segudo here, PGA member, founder of Segudo Golf. Put your hands up if you want to be an excellent, accurate, and powerful driver of the golf ball. 97% of you put your hands up, the other 3%, you guys, I don't know about you, but anyway, today you are gonna learn how to hit the ball accurately and powerfully down the middle of the fairway using a tip all great drivers of the golf ball use. And if you've watched Colin Morikawa drive that green yesterday in the PGA Championship and almost make a hole in one, he had superb rhythm and built incredible speed and hit the ball on the green. You're gonna do the same thing. All great drivers of the golf ball do this. They build speed throughout the golf swing and most of the club head speed happens after impact. Whereas with most amateurs, most of your speed happens in here, whooshing away power like this. But all great drivers do this. They build, 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 boom, on the way through. Big whooshing sound out here. You always want the whoosh sound out here. You don't want it over here. How do we create this incredible power and speed like all great drivers of the ball? We have to understand rhythm and tempo. I want you to envision a throttle like on a lawnmower and it's got the tortoise and the hare. The hare is the fastest, right? I want you to think throughout the golf swing, you are increasing the throttle. So the backswing, we start off like the tortoise. We're building, 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 building. On downswing, we go like the hare. We accelerate with the wrath of God. But it's gradual acceleration. I'm not rushing at any point. It's a smooth motion. Build, accelerate. And this will get you having superb rhythm and tempo. I'm not looking at a specific number. You don't need to have a three second tempo. Everybody's different, your tempo is gonna be different. But you're gonna see some awesome benefits from this tip, such as feeling the club throughout the swing. You'll know where the club is because your rhythm going back allows you to feel the weight of the club head. So be more aware of where the club face is. It's good to know where the club face is. Most amateurs have no clue where the club face is. So if you know where this is, you have a better idea of how to control your swing and get that club into impact, so better accuracy, more control. And then secondly, because you're building speed and throwing everything you got at this point in the swing, you're gonna pick up insane amounts of distance. So this is a great tip for you. I want you to do this drill. I want you to imagine there's a throttle in your head. I want you to start slow and then gradually increase the throttle throughout the swing. The whole idea here is we're building speed. So slow, 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 boom. How do we build speed? We've got to train ourselves. What I want you to do is start off slow. I want you to go slower than you've ever gone before. I want you to take it back so slow that it actually bothers you. So we're gonna go back like this. Slow. And then you're gonna to wanna to build speed on the way down. You can pause if you want. I don't recommend it. I actually recommend we're gonna build continuous speed. So slow, 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 slow. And then start speeding up. Nice hit. That's a great way to feel continuous building of speed. Continue to build up the speed by gently increasing the tempo. So I'll start going a little bit faster and a little bit faster, even up to the full swing. And the whole idea here is constant gradual acceleration. I never speed up over here. I focus all my speed up to here. Build and fire. And once you work up to that full swing, I guarantee you'll be right down the middle, super accurate and powerful. That's where real fun happens with driving. And it's effortless power too. You don't have to work too hard because you're using the weight of the club head. This is something that you can use. It's like using a sledgehammer. When you use a sledgehammer to drive a tent stake into the ground, same concept. Build up the speed, then launch it into here. Here we are again, start slow, build that speed. Get that throttle in your mind. Build, 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 boom. Build, build, boom. Backswing building, downswing booming. Yeah, send it. And then lastly, you've got a real good idea. Get over the ball, build that speed, give it all you got on the way down. Think about the club head, the weight of the head. So it's a good golfers, go out there, start blasting those drives like all of the great drivers of the golf ball, building speed the proper way. No speed over here, plenty of speed over here, 
on the follow through. Whoosh it out over here, dish it out there. Thank you for tuning in today and subscribe to this channel if you want the best ball striking of your life because I'm gonna help you get there in a body friendly and simplified manner. Like this video if you enjoyed it and then share your experience in the comments below if this helped you become a better driver of the golf ball. And if you're looking for a simplified way to play your best golf right now, check out my website, segudo.golf. For just $10 a month, I'll show you how to take your golf swing from foundation to finish in a complete golf swing learning program. Golf swing, bunker play, short game, chipping, pitching, putting, everything and more as I continue to help students all over the world play their best golf right now. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a rockin' week.